Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. Uh, this episode we uh, we have titled uh, "The Hour of Honor." The Hour of Honor. Mm-hmm. Whoa! What's mm-hmm. up with that? Why did we title it "The Hour of Honor"? Well, because we're dealing with Jesus in John chapter two. <laughs> oh, the wedding at Cana. Ah, uh-huh. yes. Mother Mary invited mm-hmm. to a wedding mm-hmm. along with Jesus and the Jesus entourage. Yep. Yeah, they are SVPs. They are. Uh-huh. They're off to a wedding. Mm-hmm. Hey, Kena. And uh, I'm just going to read the first uh, couple of verses here. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. On the third day, whew, third day stuff, resurrection, uh, you know, reference. <laughs> there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited. Yet yeah, you always want to invite Jesus to, to uh, the wedding, right? It's, it's what I tell the couples mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's yep. what they're doing when they're having the wedding in church. Inviting Jesus to the wedding. Uh, He was invited with his disciples. When the wine ran out, uh uh-oh, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now, woman, I know know, a lot lot of times people people read this and they think Jesus being condescending. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not true. Right. Where else is uh, this title woman used in uh, the Gospel of John? One other time. And it's at the foot of the cross. And who's at the foot of the cross? Mary. Yeah. The old, Mary. Only two times that Mary pops up. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the Gospel of John. Mm-hmm. Here at the wedding at Cana. Mm-hmm. And then in, uh, at John, in John 19 at the foot mm-hmm. of the cross. Yeah. And both places she's yes. called... Woman. woman, and so we're supposed to connect, you know, and we've we've had a video like this. So I'm not gonna we're not going too much here, too too much detail here, but 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 you know the wedding at Cana, the wedding, a wedding, mm-hmm. uh, and and the cross, and we're supposed to see the two together because mm-hmm. really the cross is a wedding. It's a wedding. Yeah, happens on Friday, the one that we call good. Mm-hmm. Now you think of like the days of creation mm-hmm. and the sixth day. Yep, was a Friday. It was. And that's when uh, the first wedding in the history of the world was conducted, right? Exactly. Uh, You know, Adam is put into a deep sleep, and Mm -hmm. from his side... Comes Eve. His bride. Yes. A beautiful bride. (laughs) From his side. Husband and and wife for life. Um, And so on the cross then, you know, uh, Jesus sleeps the sleep of death, and Mm -hmm. you have that that spear that's plunged into his side, and from Mm -hmm. his side flows water and blood. Water does Mm -hmm. what? Baptism. Yeah, baptism. It washes into Mm -hmm. the bride, the church. Yeah. And then the blood? Yeah. Cleanses us, gives us forgiveness. It's Jesus' blood. Yeah, we need to drink it. Yes. At the altar. Yeah. And and that nourishes us as the bride of Christ. So not only are we birthed as the bride Mm -hmm. of Christ, we are fed as the bride Mm -hmm. of Christ. And we have this marriage with with Jesus, a marriage that, that nothing, no one can rupture. Right. No one shall put us under. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, using the, the, the wedding rite. Yeah, um, exactly. And, and so all of that is Jesus honoring us. Yeah. That is, so, so, the, the, so, so the hour of honor really in, in Scripture, in the Gospel of John specifically, is the cross. Yeah. Um, that's where, you know, Jesus, he is, he is, he is blamed mm-hmm. and shamed mm-hmm. and damned mm-hmm. so that we can be honored. honored. We yes. can be honored. As his bride. Mm -hmm. He's the one you look at him and he is loaded up with our sin. He's the Mm -hmm. Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All that sin that harasses and hounds you. Mm -hmm. All the sin that you have committed. All the sin that has been done to you. Mm -hmm. See on Jesus. And he is, he is, he's put to open shame. Mm -hmm. You know, stripped naked, stapled to that cursed stake. And he's Mm -hmm. condemned for you, for me, for deaconess. So that we now uh, are no longer shamed, but we are honored, honored, honored to be his bride, mm-hmm. the church. Yeah. And uh, and so uh, this has a lot of practical uh, implication, really, really for, for all of us. And we see it first in the life of Jesus. Mm-hmm. He's in the business not of shaming, but honoring. Mm-hmm. And so uh, so we're going to have a, a kind of a, a, a play on words, right? Um, right. Uh, public shame and honorific name yeah Mm -hmm. so so uh so obviously jesus is not in the business of publicly shaming anyone anyone and we see that with the wedding at cana yeah right i mean he hears Mm -hmm. that 
there's no wine. Mm -hmm. Now he does do something. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right. Well, and I mean, it would be really shameful for a couple to start their married life as that's the couple. They, they had a wedding planner who just couldn't calculate how much wine to, to have on hand. Yeah. So mother Mary's really looking out for that couple. She doesn't want that couple to enter, uh, you know, their married life. Uh, you know, being mm-hmm. shamed by the community. Yeah. You know, they're in the marketplace and people are looking at, oh, that's the couple that couldn't give wine for yeah. all seven days. Too cheap. Oh, they didn't they're, buy, man, have that, enough. Their yeah. wedding planner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Mother Mary did, did not want that. Yeah. And Jesus doesn't want that. Mm-hmm. You know, so they take those six stone jars for purification, you're holding 20 or 30 gallons a piece, right? Mm-hmm. Fill it up with water. Right. And then... Uh, and then, well, the, the servants take, uh, you know, that water now turned wine mm-hmm. to the, the master of the feast. And what does he say? Yeah. He's like, what? Let's see. What does he say? He says, everyone serves the good wine first. And when people have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're saving the best for last. Yeah, who Jen- does that? I, who does that? Yeah, no, you bring the best out. And uh-huh. the taste buds get dulled mm-hmm. and numbed. Mm-hmm. And then you bring out the bad stuff. Yeah. No one knows the difference. Exactly. It's the sixth, seventh <laughs> yeah. glass of wine. No one knows. And Jesus, yeah. he doesn't do that. No, he, he saves, he, he brings up the Jesus vintage at the end of the party. Yeah. And, and really, uh, in, in this whole situation, the bridegroom has no idea that he's about to be shamed. Right. That he's about to, uh, you know, uh, have everyone know that, that okay, this guy, he, he's not enough. Mm-hmm. He, he can't, mm-hmm. he can't, he can't even do, do the wedding right. Is he really going to mm-hmm. do the marriage right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so Jesus, you know, he comes to the rescue, yeah. uh, working and operating underneath really his nose. It's, it's like, he has no <laughs> idea. And, and, you know, it's the bridegroom that gets praised. Yeah. You know, he gets, uh, he gets all the honor. Yeah. You know, Jesus, even though he did all of it, uh, you know, look, in, in, he doesn't want the spotlight on him. He, mm-hmm. you know, it, the honor goes to the. To the bridegroom. Right. That he was the one who thought of uh, serving the best wine last. He gets the credit, the bridegroom. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As if it was all his He's idea. Like, yeah. He <laughs> yeah, planned yeah, it. Uh, he planned it weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was all the plan. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Wedding planner oh. came through. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, but, you, but you see Jesus throughout the, you know, his entire ministry, uh, not 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 playing the you know the sh- uh, you know the shame game. Yeah. He doesn't do that. Yeah. No. Not rubbing people's noses no, in their failures. No, it's all about honoring people. I think you know uh, the the woman at the at the well. Mm-hmm. You know he honors her. Yes. Uh, you know the woman caught in adultery. Mm-hmm. You know he he honors yeah. her. Yeah. Um, the man healed at the pool of Bethesda. Oh yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I mean look at all the shame he had yeah. all those years that. He had been supporting the family, mm-hmm. contributing to society. Mm-hmm. You know, he probably feels so useless, mm-hmm. so pathetic. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, just just worthless. Mm-hmm. And here, Jesus, he honors him. Yeah. You know, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't imagine the guy not skipping a little bit. Right. Once Doing backflips or back something. Flips, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's going to be the next person uh, on the on, on uh, the USA Olympic team. Exactly. Um, <laughs> And, and, and then the, the one that really yeah. uh, strikes me is, uh, is, um, the, the man born blind, mm. right? And, and John nine, John nine. And, uh, and this is where we see actually, uh, the religious establishment attack this poor man. Like he just, he's telling the truth the entire time, you know, mm-hmm. and how mm-hmm. did you, how did you get your sight? Mm-hmm. You know, and just really mm-hmm. going after him. Yeah, you were you were blind from birth, so you must have been a sinner. Yeah. and just uh, going all uh, at him and at his parents. At his, yeah, yeah, and uh, and the parents kind of throw the kid under the bus. Like right. he can speak for himself; <laughs> he's old enough. We're we're washing our hands of this. <laughs> we plead the fifth. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we talk about having fear of the religious establishment. Yeah. I mean, you would think this would be the group of people that you would find comfort, uh, you know, being. Uh, you know, with, but no, no, that fear, lots of fear. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, he just keeps telling the truth. Uh, this guy, you know, Jesus, he, uh, he healed me. What, do, what, 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 what do you look like? Well, ha, you know, he doesn't know. Yeah. Uh, so, so they kick the guy out. Yes. They kick him out of, uh, you know, uh, really the church. Yeah. The community. But, I mean, he's yeah. excommunicated. Yeah. Uh, for telling the truth being Mm -hmm. honest Mm -hmm. and he's shamed. I mean, talk about being shamed and being disconnected from uh, the temple, from the synagogue. Mm -hmm. That was essentially saying, God isn't with you any longer. Mm -hmm. God doesn't Mm -hmm. love you. His back is turned on you. Mm -hmm. You're worthless. You're worthless. You're not enough. 
And so, uh, you know, he's just sitting by himself and Jesus goes after him. He goes and, and finds him. Yeah, I, I just I, I just love this. Uh, the scene is so beautiful. It is. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to read it, but now I am because I'm, I'm like, I have to read it. Yes. It's, it's, it's too beautiful. Yeah, so this is uh, John 9, 35. Jesus heard, <laughs> he heard, that he had been excommunicated, cast out, and having found him. See, this is the thing. Jesus, we don't find him. He finds us, right? He's the one that finds this man. And he says to him, do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, and who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, you have seen him, and it is he who is speaking to you. He said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. Here we have the shift from worshiping God in the temple and the synagogue to the to Jesus. He is the temple, as he says right after the wedding at Cana, right? Destroy this temple, and in three days I'll build it up. Build it up, raise it up. Mm -hmm. Um and and so and so he he's now worshiping at really where we're all to worship, at the yeah. feet of Jesus. That, that that place of honor. Mm -hmm. That we who should be shamed by God mm -hmm. were honored by him. Yeah. Uh and, uh, and, and what a joy to know that we are all honored by him mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. font, yes. uh, where we, uh, we don't, we don't suffer public shame there. No, right. we enjoy an honorific name. Yeah. That name of father, son, and Holy spirit placed on our foreheads and on our hearts. <laughs> You're warming up for Ash Wednesday. <laughs> I am. That's next week. It's on Valentine's day. So, you know, I'm going to have like a, a cross within a heart. No, I better not do that. I won't do that. Get a stencil out. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> well, now, now everyone knows that uh, that we get ashes on Ash Wednesday. Uh -huh. So there we go. Yep. Um, so um, so we're given this honorific name, yeah. uh, the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We're named and claimed. And that and that really sets us free for a whole life of not of not publicly shaming people yeah. but honoring people. Right. And uh, and I think I think in the church and we see it in John 9, mm -hmm. sometimes in the church we can be the worst public shamers. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Yeah. And, and, and that, it, that we just need to stop that. Yes. Uh, we have a God that doesn't shame us and we ought not shame anyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and what are I mean I'm trying to think of, you know, just yeah. some of the ways that 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 we do uh publicly shame mm -hmm. uh folks, you know, yeah. as, as as church uh, going mm -hmm. people. Yeah. I mean, it, it just even how we talk about people's flubs and yeah. failures, their yeah. mistakes and, and mishaps. Oh, they're not Lutheran. They don't go to the right church or mm -hmm. wow, their doctrine isn't as, mm -hmm. you know, right and correct as mine or mm -hmm. wow, they just, uh, they have, you know, they have a, they have a drum set in their church. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just think about how we can talk about people mm -hmm. and really demean them yeah. and demonize them. Yeah. And that's, so, you know, quit the scapegoating. Okay. Yep. We, we already have the scapegoat. His name is Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. he was roasted in the flames of, of hell, right? right on the cross, suffering for us. For, we should have for me. Yeah, been we, roasted. We should have <laughs> roasted. You know, he he's roasted, and then he says, "It is finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no mm -hmm. more scapegoating." Yep. Uh, now we're in the business of honoring folks, yeah. and we do that with our with our, especially with our tongues. Yes. Yep. And how yep. we speak about people, mm -hmm. and uh, remember, Jesus died for everyone. He did. Yeah, and we can we can treat people as such. Yeah, we really can. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we are not those who are trying to expose people's sins, but we are those who who want to cover them up, mm -hmm. right? Love covers a multitude mm -hmm. of Sin. of sins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so and so I pray that you knowing and we knowing mm -hmm. that we're given this honorific, yeah. you know. Uh, name mm -hmm. uh the name of god father son holy spirit and the waters of holy baptism that that would just uh, this, uh you know uh drench us in, in such honor that we just we want that to to, to we want to we want to splash it on everyone yeah we want to lift up other people with our words and our actions yeah yeah yep 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 yeah any anything else yeah i mean isn't that at the end of the day living like uh mother mary and do whatever he tells you yeah, yeah. that's a good point yeah yeah going to bat for people mm -hmm. instead of actually uh <laughs> taking <laughs> taking a bat you know the bat of our words and and hurting people yeah yep <laughs> yep no we go to bat for people yeah yeah we, we you know we are uh one another's advocate yep exactly that's what, it's what mother mary was yeah Mother Mary, yep. an advocate for those uh, mm -hmm. for those couples that could have easily been publicly shamed. She's like, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 we're not going to do that. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna honor this couple. Yep. 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 
-hmm. So my dear friends, our prayer is that we don't engage in the in the shame game, mm -hmm. but that we are in the honor business, yeah. right? That mm -hmm. the uh, hour of honor is every single honor, you know, and it all mm -hmm. flows from that most important ho hour of honor, the yeah. cross, mm -hmm. you know, and that is where we really see our Lord honoring an entire planet yes. full of sinners. Every single human being. Yep. And we get to now uh, live into that. Yeah. And be we'll that. Be that with uh, our posts on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good That's point. a really good big oh, one. Yeah. So well, we post on social media, yeah. all that. I, yeah. It's so easy to treat people as a faceless person on social yeah. media because we can't see their face. But, yeah. but remember, they do have a face. Yeah. Yeah. A face known by Jesus and, yeah. and died for by Jesus. Yeah. 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 So happy living that, uh, you know, that hour of honor mm -hmm. every single hour. Day. Hour. Yeah, every single hour <laughs> of every single day. I yes. like that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I try to do the alliteration. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> by his stripes. We are healed. Yep. And until next time. Ciao. Toodles.